Legend of Total War here with part 8, I think, of my Total War Attila Age of Charlemagne Let's Play campaign as uh, the Kingdom of the Franks. Alright, so previously, um, we've, we've begun our invasion of Iberia, and it's all been going pretty well so far. Now that we've got loads of armies, it's a lot easier for us to deal with people. It does, we don't even need good quality armies, we just need numbers because it's it's largely about being able to be um, everywhere at once um, so that they can't counter us but also at the same time put everything into one battle so that we can guarantee the outcome uh, okay so I've actually been thinking that it, it's probably going to be time soon to like raise a proper army apart from this That's levy shit command. Um, because the thing is, we're, like, approaching sort of the end of the campaign. I mean, I'm... I've only got, like, about half the settlements left to go. But we don't have a lot of money. Still. I mean, the, one of the major problems is that... Is corrupt, obviously, corruption is a major problem. And... Where's... Where's the next... Oh, no, no, never mind. And, um... So, it's a major problem, and we just can't get around that just yet and we need money in order to purchase our good troops we can't purchase it based on this income and we need to have the number of armies that we have in fact one of our frontiers is not protected the uh, the british one it just it's just fortunate that they haven't declared war on us however if they do i'm going to need that income to raise some levies over there very fucking fast also the more money i have the sooner i can get things done um in all these regions. There's a lot of stuff to build, and that's, that takes priority. Anyway. I'm not sure what to build here. Um, yeah, we just need we just need one chapel per province. So, they can't even... They can't even get anything better than plus ten percent. Like that's that's a really shit building, to be honest. Like ten percent, waste a precious build slot on that. Like I don't really give a shit. It's not very good at all. This give us like twenty percent, so you, you can't get tier three. Oh, I see. That's iron mine. Well, if there's an iron mine, there's no need to build a surface mine. Even though surface mines make more money, that produces iron. Which, we don't really need more iron. We're, we're running out of... Because we, I know we've got some elsewhere, so maybe we should get rid of that and actually build a surface mine instead. Hang on, let me just check this, actually. The end result is 300. I mean, it reduces recruitment cost, but that doesn't matter to me. 400 from industry. Oh, whatever, just just keep that, it's only 100. So this region here is actually ruined. So that'll need to be repaired. It must have already been damaged before we came there. Because that will not repair on its own if it's ruined. If it's damaged, it'll repair on its own, but ruins will not. Okay, so this province here... I don't even know how it's under control given the, given the state of it, but it is. This came under attack last turn. From these guys, but we managed to repel it. So that'll help spread Christianity into uh, these Islamic territories and also public order as well. Okay, so we need a, a gallery here. We probably don't need any um, fishing wharfs now because these farms provide food to to all regions this is why we got so much food so you know build the farms in regions that actually make good money from it like you make more money with farming than you can with mining in some instances but in areas like here where it's completely infertile base fertility one there's probably no need how's it going it's got 65 food here so we can actually it's actually still a little bit low because I, I want to use that food to, you know, build these things up. So we'll just wait before demolishing that stuff. Maybe I won't be able to. I don't know. Uh, public order is actually really good. We can, we can afford to demolish this now. Because that's, that's providing 
stuff that's just not needed, we can demolish it and then produce something else. Obviously. I tell you what, in this particular um, campaign, customization of your cities is pretty complex, but also vital. Because, you, like I said, you get, you get limited build slots, you cannot build everything. And some of the bu some buildings are better than others. Okay, so we're just being patient over here, over there because expanding it this way, we're just um, we're just causing more corruption. Like we're going after Iberia because they're going to kill us. No they're going to try and kill us no matter what. So we might as well try and get the jump on them. All right. Well, I'm out of money. There'll be a revolt here next turn. All right, let's move on. Look at that, that 3% tax rate got us like 7 extra coins. It's garbage. And you'll notice that most of my, my uh, like base settlement things are still at level 1. That's just because I haven't had the money to upgrade them. If I had the money, I would. They, it's pretty expensive to build that shit up. It takes a long time. What's this? All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, we'll do this. Yep. So, how much control did that give us? Fucking heaps. Okay, that should keep us going for quite some time. So the revolt is for the Pamplonian rebels. Hear us, Lord. So if you missed out on the previous episode, the um, the, the, like the Caliphate of Cordoba, they made a really terrible attempt at attacking us. Advance. They put. A whole bunch of their armies scattered out here when I had armies, because I was preparing to defend against them. And they put them on raid mode, on a raid stance. You know, and thinking I'd just sit there and be like, oh, maybe they're not going to declare war on me. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. They were going to declare war on me the very next turn. So I declared war on them, was able to pick them apart at my leisure, at my convenience, and uh, destroyed their entire army, I think. And now they're, they're trying to rebuild it. Uh, they accepted a, a pretty moderate peace treaty, which gives me time to take out more of these settlements, consolidate them before I can deal with them again. Ready for orders. Because the AI doesn't really have to worry too much about consolidating regions, because of all the bonuses to public orders that they get. Like we get a minus eight penalty, and they get something like a plus ten. Let me just see if I can find that. I think there's a breakdown of it in some places. I know in Total War, Warhammer, you can just like hover over this and it tells you the breakdown, but in this, you, I don't think you can. It doesn't really matter right now, though. Whatever the bonus, or whatever, whatever the rate is, it's, um, it's a very high public order bonus. It's because the AI doesn't build public order buildings. I mean, that, that's the thing. The AI, I think, is aware that it gets all these bonuses, and so it doesn't build this shit up. And that means when you conquer these regions, you have to completely fucking change them. And that all takes time. So the main thing I really want to prioritize building is um, upgrading the galleries. Because corruption is now out of control. So we need to get it back under control. And that takes time. So we've got this under control here. Oh, I got no money left. It's alright, just leave it be. I mean, the public order is going up now, but um, we just need to be patient. These guys will probably prepare another attack. It would be good to wipe them out before they could um, before they could do anything. They don't completely hate us, despite being at war with us. Um, we actually got a trade agreement with them. Okay, it's actually a province. Can we get a trade agreement with them? No, of course not. We took their territory. I'm keen to take Lombardy, actually. This peace treaty, are we Welcome, able to break it now? Friend. Two more turns. Well, let's I get in a position to do that, because I think provinces under control now. 
I mean, I did just say I don't want to expand anymore, but sometimes you just have to suck it up and go for it, because if you don't attack them, they'll attack you. Alright, the public order here is much better. At your command. Get moving, you wretches! We hunger for battle. Let's get these guys moving to the front lines. March. Waiting for more orders. So that in two turns we'll try and hit them as hard as we can. Is there nothing else? Yeah, we'll just see how we go. Ready for battle. I don't have any navies yet, but like I said, finances. If I don't need to build another army, then I'll try to avoid it. So at Tolu here, it looks like a perfect opportunity to build a hospice. But did I already build one in, in like a neighboring region? Well, considering it needs this, we might as well, might as well fix it up. This one needs a um, corruption thing. Alright, we'll sort that out next turn. Okay, just out of curiosity, let me just see here. Can we text this yet? No. Oh, yes. Alright, moving on. And it's just not my style as well to like sit on my hands and be like, I won't conquer anything until I've got my doom stack. So if someone died of natural causes, oh well. Political turmoil. No more. As long as we're still in this, we're good. I mean, it does increase corruption, but at the same time, we got to maintain the loyalty of our, of our people just in case of um, war weariness, which is. But there isn't any right now. This is not going to last much longer. So when this goes away, all of our finances are going to get a lot worse. Ready for orders. March until your feet bleed. Then march so we'll make our attack next turn. Although we could do it right now. We won't lose that much reputation. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's going to be in our best interest to attack this well. Well, uh, we're still trying to consolidate this. We're not going to be able to leave there for quite some time, I think. it's The whole region needs to be fixed up. Am I always to be disturbed it's a good way for me to get a little bit of cash on them. If it is arms you want, talk to my major domo. And a trade agreement, so that we can make some money out of them over time. And they'll just accept whatever, because they're, they're fucked if they don't. What else can I get from them? I want them to... Break their trade agreement with the Caliphate. Okay, they won't do that. Alright then. So that's good. We got a good amount of money off them. So we've been now become uh, aware of the Taifa of Badajoz. I greet you in my master's feared name. Speak in honesty, and you will be answered likewise. Oh, they've actually got quite a bit of territory. Look at this here. This this area is cut off from the Caliphate's down, our main territory down here. We could sweep across this quite easily. So that's part of Leon. Could get to Galicia. That's no problem. But um, controlling Leon without these territories could be a problem. All right. So. And Nav Navarre, obviously public order is, is not co under control. We've got a lot of military presence here. That's what's saying. So we should not be taxing it right now. Just get some base public order uh, sorted. That way, we if we get it to like in the green and it's still at like minus five, it'll take a long time for it to revolt. I mean, a lot of this is just a case of ruin, like damaged buildings, which will if we can fix that over time. If we repair this, yeah, because we need to convert it to um, court to reduce corruption. Because that's there's like there's no money here because high corruption. Obviously, eighty percent now. 
how much Christianity is here. So Islam is still on top, but not by much. I guess we should convert this as well. Convert it to, yeah, convert to manor. That'll just repair on its own over time. Good. With this being built, it'll apply um, sanitation to this region, so it doesn't need to build a hospice. Okay, look, building up these things right here, not crucial right now, since we're not taxing it. There are other regions that we're begging for. Just gotta find it. The uh, the court, the 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 gallery. Where is it? There. Okay, moving on. We can only really build like one bloody thing a turn. So yeah, he's he completely fixed this region. If you remember a little while back, it was just totally fucked. This region here is not completely fixed though. Alright, moving on. Actually, let me just see what the corruption is like here. 68%. Um, it borders... Paris. Paris has got the 5% bonus as well, so it still hasn't been reduced by that much. What about this one? Yeah, see, it's, it's got like 20% like reduced corruption. Okay, this one here needs to be converted. I'll do that next time, and we'll just place that in there, because that's where the build slot's going to be needed. Try to focus on you know some of our region regions getting down to at, at least like fifty percent corruption. Fifty percent we can deal with, I think. What they're doing? They're trespassing on my land. Like I'll break a peace treaty now. Reputation doesn't mean as much to me now. Good. See, income's increasing. So if we have a look at province, they're at war with a lot of other people. Which is probably why they um, they don't have any armies here, and what makes them good to attack is because they're uh, they're just too busy killing everyone, trying to kill everyone else. Ready for Peace treaties expired, bitch. So now we control, settlement. trying to control this province. Let them cower like kennel dogs. Come on, tell me someone can make it. Okay, maybe you just need to take this first. Then they can make it to Pavia. Yeah, loot and occupy. Because we probably have to demolish a bunch of buildings. There we go. Charlemagne, head up there. Laying siege to the settlement! We take this settlement! Commander, at once. Is that all? I'll tell you what, it's good to be in Italy now. We don't have to worry about uh, winter attrition. That certainly helps. And the other settlement is Pisa. So Pisa's down this way. That's where we should aim for next. Secure the entire province. From province. Okay, so let's have a look here. This region is considered very good. Fertility. So it, we don't actually need to demolish anything. I'm quite happy with these buildings here. At Pisa, we can demolish the marble quarry, I think. And put a, um, a chapel there. Or maybe I'll put it in here. Because that doesn't have a farm building. Because the fertility is really high. We want to try and build as many farms as possible. So this has got sanitation now, right? Yep, that's good. Uh, 
If we upgrade that, we might be able to tax it. Let's have a look if... Yeah, see, it's also got a lack of food. That's probably because there's so many level 2 buildings. Level 2 uh, main chain buildings. And we'll, we'll work on that. So upgrade this because we need to reduce that corruption. So this is Burgundy. How many regions does Burgundy border? One. Provinces, I mean. One, two, three, four, five. So that's that's pretty good. So there's a, a lot of uh, benefit in spreading that. And thanks to looting the settlement, we can actually build something else. Uh, okay, here we go. This is Bountiful. What's Bountiful? Eight? Yep. So we can do that for more money. How's it going for... Oh man, this is corrupt as shit. I just got, don't have any money right now. Good, see that's that's fixed its um, squalor. Because disease is a problem. But it's been dealt with. Good, let's move on. Truth be told, I think the Crusader Kings 2 campaign is going to be a bit more fun than this. Like, as much as Age of Charlemagne is probably the, the, the best campaign, the best designed campaign, yeah, they, they need to die, they're preparing an attack. Um, oh, maybe they're not, I don't know. Just, like, even if they were to go and sack this settlement, it's not that big of a deal. The th here's another thing, is that the AI doesn't have to worry too much about reputation, because it doesn't affect them in the same way it does us. Which is annoying, but that's just the way it is. So what did I just finish? Researching. I thought we already had cathedral. Oh, cathedrals! Right, that's to, like, upgraded abbey. Alright. Yeah, the monastery is over there, okay. So let's have a look. What else is in here that we need? Don't really need any of that right now. I mean, the church hospital will come in handy later, but we don't need it right now. Where's the anti-corruption? Okay, so it's there. In order to get that, we need to research this and all of these. I'm just wondering if maybe I should research this. I mean, upgrading my infantry will make them more expensive. How much more expensive? So let's have a look at the Frankish Spearmen. I need to know how much they cost. Because the base cost of the the Levy Spearmen is like 45. And this is 60. So it's, it's an increase of about 30%. Since they are the, the main, the bulk of my force, we have to expect that our expenses could increase by 20% by upgrading those units. It's something I can't afford right now. I mean, actually, no, I could. I just... It, that money would be better spent building more each turn. How much money do we make from cultural buildings anyway? There's th we don't. I don't think we make any money through culture. Um, it does seem to me like heading towards this because corruption is such a big problem. Um, if we were to do that, that could be very useful. All right, what about? I guess we should just research that. Make our way through this chain first. Don't need to build a hospice here. Hear us, Lord! Loot it. Okay, they've they've thrown in a lot of troops at Pavia. Uh, not Pavia, Pisa.
Let's have a look at the difference. Yeah, see that's shit. I mean, I know these are crap units, but still, that's that's not worth bothering about. Fletching, on the other hand, for that little bit of extra ammo, could really come in handy if we attack this. Problem is, we've seen before that um, if I attack this settlement, they could like come out and charge at us. I could hit Verona, but it's all about controlling uh, the entire province. Mm. I'd rather spend the money on other things. So this this province here is completely built up by the look of it. It doesn't require any more growth. It's good they've they've got the palace in there for me. Okay, if they're going to put all of their troops here, they're, they're going to end up losing their other settlements just due to these guys attacking them. They do make a good buffer with, with other other factions, though. Ready for battle. You come over here. March. Public order in a province is, is good enough that it will maintain. Immigrants will go down eventually. Good, we can build this up. Okay, so in this region here, there's actually too much squalor. Oh, that only level two. Um, but when we upgrade this, eventually, oh, that that comes from here. Oh well, look, the chances of it um, having. Squalor is it's pretty low. Oh, I have not having squalor of um, getting diseases. It's, we just we can't do everything at once. We have to pick our battles. These guys are still. Look at this shit. That's gonna take him forever to starve. They, they haven't had a region, a settlement in ages, and they just sit here raiding us. Raiding minus six, and they're costing us money too. Stupid. Very very stupid. Okay, we don't need this anymore. And increase the, the cash that we've got going on. Okay, let me just have a look. How, look at that, minus 40 public order by doing that. That's, I mean, the money's good and everything, but it's not worth that public order penalties. Commander. Yeah, well, that's shit. This is a dick move of them, but if we were to... The thing is, we haven't properly consolidated this yet. And I don't have enough money to do anything else. Alright, well let's just move on to the next turn. Are we going for politics, actually? Yeah, we're good. Moving on. Commander. No, 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 no. Well, this region didn't need it. Tibet doesn't transfer over to other, uh, nearby regions. So, why'd the public order here go? Oh, because I started taxing it, and the the food penalties started kicking in. So, maybe, maybe we should just keep that down. Because if we keep the public order happy, it'll grow faster. Give us another build slot, maybe we can upgrade the something. Anyway, the region makes fuck all money anyway, so what's the point? Moving on. Okay, we can make the attack on Pisa now.
the, the the Duchy of Tolu or something, they've now produced two separate loads of of separatists. They're, just gonna, they're basically a separatist producing machine. See, with him not sitting in the settlement, he won't get wiped out when we attack it. But that doesn't really matter. So we'll need to keep one of our armies here because there will be a revolt. Let them cower like cattle dogs. Well, just hopefully we we don't need to bring a, one of these armies over here. To battle, laying siege yeah, to we'll the be fine. And we also we should try and get a peace treaty with them straight after this. So we've consolidated the province. Good, we got wiped out one of their armies anyway. The damage was not nothing too severe anyway. Let's occupy. Commander. Now I don't. You didn't take very much damage, so I want you to stand out here. Let him. Stand there, because he'll get extra replenishment. Soldiering, it's a good life. And it's just five. It's four times more expensive. It shouldn't be that expensive, especially when low tier troops perform so well in order resolve. This guy's turning out to be one of my best generals, but I'm not too sure what else to do with him. Maybe get him more cunning, that way he can reduce the upkeep cost of his forces. Making them just that little bit cheaper. I don't really think it affected them at all. 1% wasn't enough to make a difference. faction that doesn't even have that many regions doesn't really need to build the gallery doesn't have any corruption but that's not the case for us we're very corrupt okay so like I said we should now try and get a peace treaty with them I didn't break any any agreements by, time on by declaring war on them and if we just make them go away for a good time that'd be good I don't really want a trade agreement with them because I still want to kill them later on. So according to this, we could actually export more to them. If we so if we get more of our resources, I must be selling them all off. So yeah, look, that'll increase my income, so let's do that. I don't tend to attack them again for a little while. So if I have a look here... Yeah, we're, we're exporting all of it. It's, God, the iron's worthless. Marble... It's not worth a hell of a lot. Total value, 56. The, that being said, I don't have a lot. Salt... God, cloth is... it's only worth one. So my most valuable resource is actually wine. Hang on, let me just see that timber again. Resource value is five, and olive oil is six. There's surely some timber up here that I just haven't really... made use of it. I'm just looking for the resources to see... hang on. This one here... Yeah, we've, we've already got the grapes down there. Got to make sure these regions have got their uh, their resources utilized. So this region's now fully grown, so that's good. I'm not too sure what else to do with it. Okay, we don't need the hostel anymore, we can get rid of that. Probably build a surface mine there. But we need to build a hospice here. Because it will spread into there. This this is only spread into one region, this is spread into multiple. 
I don't think I've got access to any wood. Uh, no, that's copper. Is copper a tradable resource? No. Yeah, it's just it's just better money than a surface mine, that's all. Okay, let's just have a look here. Can I click to find some resources? Okay, there we go. So looking for wood. Okay, that's this olive oil. There's some gold over here. We're not utilizing that iron apparently, which is fine. Iron's crap. Wine is one of our best resources, so maybe we should try and produce more of it. Oh, okay. Just so we can make more money from trade. How much money are we making from trade, actually? Yeah. So to upgrade that, we need the winery, which will produce an extra five. Where do we get that from? Oh good, it's on the way of what we want anyway, so... We'll get there. So I need to upgrade this so that I can then upgrade that one. There we go. Good. That'll really help with that. You can see that our income's going quite up. A lot higher over the... Over the next few, over the previous few turns, which is definitely what we want. Okay, I'm pretty much out of funds. So let's just move on to the next turn. It's just a time of consolidation is now needed. So there's the revolt, we just get rid of that and then all the instability is gone. I forgot to deal with this region. Alright, so Pisa has got Marble Quarry. We can still just let that repair on its own over time. Probably convert that to a trade wharf because this region is making so much food. We don't need that. There's no growth needed from it either. We could just we can make more money out of out of trade. So yeah, I think actually putting the chapel in the in here would be more useful. Cuz we'd make more cash out of the farms than if we if we were to destroy it. Commander. Take it out. Victory! At your command. We hunger for battle. All right then. Yeah, we'll go for dread. It's not my favorite thing to go for. I'd probably prefer the extra ammunition for archers. But if we can reduce enemy morale by minus six, that could make battles easier as well. Okay, good. Well, we've got this this region under control, so just let it develop for a bit. See, this is what I was talking about before. Even though it's still got minus three public order per turn, we can we can leave it now for such a long time. It'll take forty five turns for it to revolt. We'll have fixed it by that point, point. and it's actually one of our richest regions.
We don't need to build a uh, hospice here because the neighboring regions focusing on that. If hang on, if I converted this to trade port, there'd be an extra four squalor. I suppose a region like this might need a hospice as well. I don't know. Figuring it out. Okay, so let's have a look at its corruption values. 77%, we're still getting that much money. So what are we going to build here, finally? Maybe maybe this is actually alright, because... It'll increase our wealth in this region and in adjacent provinces as well. From all buildings. I know the max of this is only 20%, but when it borders... Quite a few regions, it, it really starts to add up. And there's nothing really else here that we need. Don't need the wine market. Actually, we should convert this to being the wine market because... Well, once we have to convert it back, so... Because the, the wine market makes more money. But it's expensive to build, so don't worry about that right now. So we'll build, build this. Still, the main focus needs to be on the galleries. Okay, I suppose we can expand this and, and build something for economic reasons. Let's have a look. What, what can we make money out of? The food market. It's the only thing, I think. Could build that. Yeah, I guess we'll build that, because that'll, that'll improve quite a few regions. Reducing corruption is more important, though. And let's move on. Yep, so increase, increase that. Good, our income is really swelling up nicely now. Because we're reinvesting it each turn instead of just having a stupidly expensive army. We, we don't need this in Paris. The public order's fine. Okay, destroy that. We've got farms here. I wonder if I should have built that. How, how much does that cost to build? It's not that expensive, and there's quite a bit of money coming from it. How corrupt is this region? 73%. You know, minus the 8%, that means we're at 61, 65% corruption. So that means the tax rate is 35%, essentially. Which will go up, because that's getting done. We've got heaps of food here, so we certainly can upgrade this, but it's, it's only a little bit of extra money, so it's not, not crucial. Why is this expanding further? Oh, right, yeah, because we can develop the land and everything, but we've still got more to do. So maybe if I build another trading post here, that'd be good for growth and money. Okay, so this region, let me just, oops, wrong one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is, it's crucial that we build the court. Now the thing is, I need to, I'll need to convert it back later on in order to build the church hospital. But whatever, we just need to get this done now. And there goes all of our money, which didn't cost so much to bloody convert them all the time.
We should build something for growth here. Okay, moving on again. We hunger for battle. So the public order well we've we've massively fixed it up here. We'll be able to build the corruption building next turn. Moving on. The gallery. Okay, well, somebody else is making their intentions blatantly obvious. They've had to cross through other people's territory to get to us. We are not a friend for the new moon and an enemy in the old. Come. Can we not help each other openly? The thing is, they will drag me into every single one of their wars. I'm not interested in that, so no. Keep forgetting I still need to take out the the Avars as well. Okay, so building this provides a little bit of extra public order, but more importantly, get rid of that corruption. Now we can actually start taxing it. It's not great money, but it's better than nothing. What's our military presence? 26. So when we do leave, the public order will go down. But at least we've got it happy. It's going to have increased growth rate, higher tax rate, so that's good. We're not trading with Cordoba, are we? We are. But I'm sure that if we stop trading with them, that money will go elsewhere. And plus, that it's... Oh, man, we actually make a lot of money from them. From long-term partnership. But they're making their intentions blatantly obvious. Ready for orders. They want Tarragona. Well, I'm not going to fucking let them have it. At your command. Just trying to think how I'm going to go about this. Same with these guys here. They clearly want these territories. See. This is the problem with this province. Every single one of these regions is owned by someone else. It's all owned separately. It's easier if you can just declare war on a single faction and just take it all in one one big swipe. We hunger for battle. Not I'm not too sure at all what to do about this. Like I said, if I declare war on them, it will affect my income. And like, the territories, it's just, it's... I can't just swipe in there and grab them really quickly. How strong are they compared to us? So they've built up their armies again. It's probably full of trash. Ready for orders. Alright, let's try this. We'll send an army up here. So two armies up here. Commander. Like, that army there is no big concern, but the ones over here are. I'm going to put you here, and you here. Okay, I might actually hit these guys here instead, because I don't... I don't actually know, just, just stay there for the time being, and we'll see how we go. Don't build up this region, could end up getting sacked. Public order is good. Still just needs time to repair. Hang on, let me just say that again. Oh, yeah, no, it's fine. Alright, what else are we doing? We need to. I need to grow this. We don't have the. Um... We don't have the gallery here. Now, didn't I say I was going to build a, a gallery or something over here? Oh, that's right. I said I was going to convert. Yeah, we're working on that. I don't need that here. The public order here is pretty good. We don't need this anymore. 
I just just leave it for the time being though, because it's, it's not that good. Okay, let's build a uh, surface mine here. Considering we've got the sanitation, it should be fine. No sanitation here. It doesn't really matter if we if we don't build anything. The problem here is we uh, corruption. But be it, it's actually not too bad. There must be a lot of other regions supporting it. But um, if nothing else, just to spread it over to other provinces will help. Okay, moving on. Shouldn't have to worry too much about anything in Italy. But yeah, they they're making their intentions very clear. Now, coming over here, let me see, this is Taifa of Valencia, with their two regions, they hate us. So these are the three countries that we are not currently trading with. We'll see if we can get the trade agreement with any of them. On pleasantries. Come then, speak. We might be able to make it available Greetings if some of our trade resources become available. Self. I don't know. But we can hit uh, Satanda pretty easily. Commander. Here's the problem. Like, I can only really hit one of these armies at a time. Because we have to stay together. For you best, we don't declare war on them right now. Let's actually come back over here, take out the biggest of their armies right off the bat. Make haste, men. At once. Hear us, Lord. They're on my territory. Probably justified in doing this. So we utilize the garrison as well. On the move. Need that replenishment. Commander. Would that I were as swift as the angels. Good. Advance. He couldn't quite escape. Make haste, men. At once. Kill them all. That I were as swift as the angels. All right, so now what? What we need to do? Ready oh, I lost a unit, but that's that's no big deal. On the move. We need it's a great thing about fighters. having trash units; very easy to replace. Um, Commander. Oh crap! We can't quite make it there. Oh, Ready it's probably because of the artillery. We don't need the artillery for here, so you just go in there. Them like dogs. We need to make a mad rush to um, to this province. What's it called Galicia? Probably not going to be able to hold Satanda. So if another faction revolts because of it and comes, comes back, so be it. Because I just I can't hold a run, one region in a province. I'm really not used to liberating. Well, here's what we do: we sack it first. Ready for orders. At your command. Then liberate it. And then we can trade with them. The blessings of the Lord upon you. What then do your noble people desire of us? So like I said, we just cannot hold that. Now if we have a look at our income, it's still actually it went up because of that. That's good. Ready for orders. On the move. 
March. Commander. I would bloody help if you had extra campaign movement range. Oh, this must have been the guy that died recently and then I had to replace it with someone else. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So yeah, we make a mad rush over here to take this province off them and then try and get a reasonable peace treaty out of them. We don't have the, the right tech for that just yet anyway, so building that's not crucial. Whatever the case is, I've got a lot of money. Let's let's build some stuff. Okay, it's it's got two sanitation left here, so we could get that. It's an expensive building, though. What's the corruption? Yeah, my goal right now is to reduce, get rid of all corruption. Well, as much as possible. So I want to prioritize that. Get more out of the, the lower tier building anyway. So Alemania still can't tax it. But we've built this now, so let's convert this when when this grows we'll be able to get another build slot i think we need to build this so i can just hurry up and and tax it because this region is just dr essentially draining my funds Goes all my money. Expand this, but I won't be able to build anything here just yet. Okay, moving on. Not expecting any sort of major retaliation. For, yes, they already want peace. No. We want that province off them to punish them for moving into my territory. That doesn't really affect us that much. Ready for orders. Ready for battle. Oh, motherfucker. You just don't have enough movement to get over here. Would that I were as swift as the angels. Well, there's no reason why we can't just go ahead and besiege it. Settlement. Laying siege to the settlement. None will escape. And you just have to catch up another time. Are you maimed or something? You're really slow. Force march almost seems pointless. Alright, trying to catch up to him is going to be difficult. But we'll just try to get as close to him as possibly as I possibly can. I doubt they'll send any more armies out this way and we'll become well aware of it if they do. I want to build this, but this region's not secure. So I don't know. Okay, now we need to convert this so that we can build the corruption building. Okay, 
Okay, there's no sanitation there. Don't do that just yet. Let me go with this. I've got one gold left. Alright, let's have a look here in Italy. This Lombardy should be mostly secure. If you look at the Duchy of Benevento, they hate our guts. They've only got they've got three regions, but they've got one over here. The Papal States are our military ally. We've still got another mission eventually to do with the, um, with the Papal States, unless I fucked that up earlier on. So yeah, we'll we'll just that should be happening fairly soon, I think. Because Charlemagne's starting to get a little old. Let's move on. I hope that this offer of coins will be. Ah, look, I'm after. I want you weakened. In order to weaken you, I need to take away your provinces. Killing their armies is not enough. Commander. Not enough punishment. Right, we take this settlement. Minimal damage. Still need to to um, mainly fight that, obviously. At your command. Advance. Your next command. That make all the strong, uh, all the soldiers stronger. Yep, that's all good. Oh man, it's, there's nothing here in terms of finances. How corrupt is it anyway? Oh man, our corruption's really getting bad. But still, the whole point of us occupying territories now is just to essentially weed out the rats from their holes. Trying to build up our anti-corruption buildings. We're getting there, but it is a pain. So yeah, something happened over there. Uh, Venice has been wiped out by a little bit. So the, uh, the Duchy of Province, they... It's pretty cool, but as we... It's good for us, I mean. As we push them west, they keep expanding on someone else. And because I don't... I can attack them with pretty much impunity because everyone else hates them. It's all good. Who owns this? Achilles? I don't know. It's unknown. But it's probably the Avars are out this way. Which I think they're pagan, so... Or Tengri. No, yeah, I think they're Tengri. So that's that's another religious influence that we need to impact on them. Okay, we expand this here and convert that. And there goes all of our money. Moving on. Maybe I should have killed that. The thing is, while he's hanging around here, that's one army that they can't recruit somewhere else. But then again, we just wiped out two of their armies, so they're probably busy replacing them. Please tell me that Duchy of Tolu is finally gone. No, they're still here. Oh, I need three armies to deal with this properly. Laying siege to the settlement. Better bring one of those armies up here. Is Ready that going to revolt? No, there will be a revolt next turn, but it's hard to anticipate where it's going to be. Um, <laughs> fuck me. We have to recruit a new army. For 
So you stay here and just recruit some spam shit. And that'll help you quite a lot. Okay, we got ourselves some some timber now, which has no downside. It's just well, it increases wealth from industrial buildings in just this province. But trading it gives us an additional thirty-five. It's not that valuable. And cloth is just worthless. Ready for orders. All right, let's build some shit. All right, what are we going to build else in this province? So in Lombardy, do we have sanitation here? Yeah. So we probably don't need to build a hospice here. Yeah, build one of these. And what else? I think that actually works out quite well. A bit of public order to, if nothing else, to spread off to other regions. Good. Once we get that to level three, we can convert this to being just a regular city. If we compare them, no, we're not cathedral. So trade city, because we need that general to to advance this building. I think. Let me just check that actually. Yeah, I need trade city. Someone has basic walls. Everything's just got basic walls in this. It seems. Wealth from commercial buildings. Right. But this provides... It, it really is only good for building this. But you don't need to keep it there. Come back over here. Cancel that. This is more important. Alright, looking good. Moving on. So once we've taken that region, we'll get a peace treaty with the Emirate... Uh, no, it's not quite Emirate. Um, the Caliphate of Cordoba. Consolidate that province and then get ready to fight them in another couple of years' time. We are a proud people. And would this could actually work well for us because they're friends. going to die anyway. They have no territory. So I just it's a good way for me to just make a bit of easy money. Look at that, three separatist armies. Or I should say navies. Very, very silly mechanics. Alright, good. That's done. Wait, didn't... Wasn't this needed to get to here? Oh wait, no, this is needed to get to this. I see. Alright, so we need that winery. That'll help with um, public order as well if we build some of those. Alright, get in there, take this. They abandoned it. Made it easy for us to take. And we'll loot it. Give us easy money. Commander! And then let's get that peace treaty. If we can re-establish trade with them as well, that would be great. I am here, then. Speak your words, and be sure. Okay, that we don't actually make that much money from them. trade. They just, for some reason, got the majority of the, um, the stuff. And get some. Let's see if we can get all of their cash. Good. Okay, what else can we do with them? We can get them to stop trading with the Tafa of Valencia. Maybe. Nope, that won't happen. That's, that's now their defensive alliance. 
Alright, I want them to break that. No, they won't. They won't do it. Alright, well that's fine. It's just next time I attack them, we'll have to deal with them both at the same time. So this is a this is a good agreement for me. Lots of money, and I get to keep this province, which is totally not valuable at all. Might as well tax it since we want a revolt to happen. Ready for battle. And giving our armies more experience gives us an edge over our enemies. Okay, so what do we need to destroy here? We'll keep and then convert this, obviously. Most of this shit here just needs to be repaired. I don't see anything that we actually need to demolish. And by repair it, let it repair over time. I've got other things to build. Like this, for example. Alright, upgrade that. There's no downside to it, so why not? Suppose the public order here is is fine. Maybe go ahead with that. Need the growth. Good. Moving on to the next turn. Well, we will win this, so I guess we'll, we'll help. Damage is pretty minimal, so that's good. I'll take the money. Lombard separatists, huh? Ah, oh, whatever. Good, look at that income coming through. Now, now we could actually afford maybe one doom stack. But at the same time, would that really help us in the campaign? Not really. Not right now. What we need is just keep keep increasing this income. If we can get this to snowball and get like 20,000 a turn income, well, no, we'll see how we go. I've already said it many times before, but you know, actually hiring dooms, hiring like units from barracks in this game actually makes your armies weaker. It may not seem like it because you just look at stats and go, oh well, the stats are better, why don't you ever get them? You have to think about it logistically. If you hire units from a barracks, they can only be re-recruited from that barracks, or from a barracks. And I certainly don't build barracks everywhere, because there just isn't enough build slots to justify, especially on legendary difficulty. Most of what you do on legendary is just countering the fucking legendary difficulty penalties. Okay, so, you know, minus eight uh, public order, I need to build one of these just to counter that. You know? Not to mention income income barriers. You've got to build all this shit for that. Corruption bonus uh, is in... Corruption is, is way higher on legendary difficulty than on, say, normal difficulty. So you need to build these things. Squall is a problem, so you got to build this. And by the time you're done, there's no build slots left for a barracks. But usually what I like to do is have just one recruiting province. A province where there's a barracks and a, a blacksmith and a... A Fletcher so that I can build it all in one spot, but the problem is that if I go somewhere and 
with that army, and usually if I've got a doom stack, I'll take on, I'll go after bigger odds and fight those battles manually. And let's just say one of say our armored swordsmen get wiped out. Well, I've got to track that fucking army all the way back there to go and get that soldier back, which is obviously a pain in the butt. Uh, that's not a priority right now. Here we go, this is something. Upgrade that. That's the public order here. It's really good, we can destroy this now. Upgrade that instead. So the region's poor. Poor regions still make a bit of profit. Is there any sanitation out here? No. Would we make more money from this? It would be about the same, but that does provide food for all provinces as well. So yeah, we'll go with that. And we're out of cash. I mean, I've said so many times that there are some fun to, like, as far as the strategy is concerned of, of the Grand Campaign, there is no need for you to ever hire a barracks because as we've seen here levy troops perform just fine and we've won so many battles with levy troops and if we need to we can upgrade them to frankish spearmen because all you need them to do is hold the line it's the archers that do all the real damage salutations we hunger for battle Province is in such shit shape that it will probably revolt again. Building the corruption building here right now is actually of very little value to us because there is. We're not bordering any of our own regions. Let me just check. If I was to build a hospice, where should I build it? If I built one here, I could spread it into these three provinces. But that could spread it into those as well, but then no one's spreading it into this one. So what if I built it in Leon when, when we do take it? That way we, it covers one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we could do this one, which will cover one, two, three. And then here to cover these. So there'll always be a little bit of overlap. But you just want to try and have, make it so you have to build as few of them as possible to cover as much area as you can. Try and be as efficient as you can with it. So, we'll, we'll worry about that another time. Just, another time, just keep letting them build. Could repair that, but then we have to convert it. And oh, while it's here, it's converting to Islam. So yeah, we should convert this. Hurry, hurry up and convert it before it um, causes too much problems. Yeah, see, Christianity's not really increasing while that's going on. Let's move on. So who died? Oh no, who's that? I think it was a priest. That's actually a good time to um, for it to die, because I could use one over here, I think. Ready, willing, and able. And then we convert this. So meager fertility, two. So farms are probably no use to us here. We should actually destroy them. And focus more on fishing ports, which will repair over time. Actually, we shouldn't be taxing this now. Just, just let 
get the base um, public order under control because that'll help with growth. Even though we only need one more one more slot. All right. So what are we going to build here? That's probably a good choice. And we'll build the mines in there, I suppose. See, our regions are starting to become a lot richer now. Because we are reducing corruption. I don't think we need that anymore. Moving on. It doesn't matter about leveling up. Who's this? Call to arms against the Taifa of Badajoz. Now's not a good time for this. But if I decline and break the alliance, I'm going to become very unreliable. All I've got with these guys is a trade agreement. This is the obvious choice. However, the obvious, obvious choice is actually letting Asturias die first before I get involved. However, our enemy will probably go and go straight for us. They probably only attacked them to get to us. Good. Easy money out of Venice from that alliance. Now, we haven't consolidated this province yet, so being at war with them is kind of... Yeah, we lost a little bit of reliability. Let me just see if I can get a peace treaty with them. In time, two things always smell. Fish and uninvited guests. Speak quickly then, before I lose interest and my breakfast. I won't get a trade agreement with them this time, because... Oh no, it'll be fine. Like, breaking trade agreements don't seem to make that big of a difference. With the reputation. God, they're willing to give me heaps. I guess they actually want the, the trade agreement. I want them to wipe out Kingdom of Asturias because I want a single faction to own all of Leon. Like I said, I'm not ready to attack them right now because I'm currently busy. Got to consolidate this. Can't leave this until we've, you know, we're finished with it. So, get rid of all this. Because it just doesn't provide us with any food or any money anyway. There's other ways of making food. Most of the, the food comes thanks to f um, the fertility bonuses. So Mega's what? Yeah, two. This needs to be converted. And we're getting a bit coming in from salt, so that's good. At your command. Mm, he's becoming a bit of a problem. He's not very popular. Then extra cunning to reduce the upkeep cost of his army ever so slightly. Okay, like I said, the main focus at the moment is, is of course, to uh, to get these uh, galleries. Because corruption was just killing it for me. Okay, um, yeah, we're all good. Let's just move on to the next turn. 
Okay, so this governor, yeah, reduce current uh, construction costs. So they do actually have some, some stuff here, some consumption, which is no good. Need to get rid of it. But I don't want to build a hospice here. It's not causing that much of a problem, so just, just let it be for the time being. And since it's already got consumption, fucking, why not just go all out? I don't know. If we're not building a hospice here, maybe I should build that. Or that. I'll build that one first, like... Actually, that's gonna cause squalor. Let's, let's go with this. Moving on. It's just, it's not really that valuable, because it's not going to spread into that many regions. That would have really pissed me off if that happened to me. They converted one of their agents. They really needed to fix that. That that faction has been dead, essentially, for a really long time. And they just keep producing new fucking factions because of integrity. It's stupid. And just raiding my coastline. And they're my allies, for fuck's sake. It's very, very stupid AI. Okay, the other downside here is that, is that if these guys actually manage to beat them, then I'll have to cancel my military alliance with them in order to annex them. It largely depends on whoever wins, that's who we kill. But right now we're, we're too busy to worry about that. Busy with consolidating this shit. Because all this stuff still needs to be converted. Wait, there's not going to be any agriculture in this region, so maybe just building a market town is all that's needed. Get that base income. Why am I bothering with that right now? Because there's other regions that we could reduce the corruption on, and we're not even taxing this region. There's no money here anyway. Okay, next turn we'll be able to expand this and get the, um, get the building. We absolutely do not need a fishing wharf here. Still just look for regions that we can reduce corruption further. So maybe a bit of a boring episode. I know there wasn't, there, it, there was no pressure on me in this episode. It's because I've got everything under control. I'm not going to throw things into to, into anarchy. Well, it's far more profitable for us to keep doing it this way. Okay, so Francona, Franconia over here. We haven't really developed it up at all. There's heaps of growth here. It just it hasn't been on my to-do list. What am I going to do with it? So we've, is this good, a good region to build? hospice. It, it is a good region. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, we'll develop this first. I'm not going to need this anymore. So basically I'm going to reserve a build slot for both the hospice and for the court. <coughs> this region doesn't really make us much money because it's just not built up. Alright, let's move on. So back at Franconia, 
because it just it really wasn't built up at all. Well, we can't do anything here for another three turns, so the thing is, I'll forget about it though. Oh well, I mean it's completely under control. Just leave it be. So how corrupt is this region? 66%. Actually, 62% when you take into account the taxes. What can we do here? Well, we don't... We've still got this pagan root stuff. I don't know how to get rid of it. What we do is upgrade this and destroy this. So this is meager fertility. So building these farms, like that's there's no money in that. So destroy that as well. Because we're better off building, like, just a... something else. Even the amount of food that we'll lose, it should still be fine. If we build a wine market here, that'll get... oh, there's no food in that. Alright, never mind. Let's, let's move on. Build more stuff. There we go. Okay, in poor regions, you can still make a bit of money from farms, so we'll do that. This is probably one of our least corrupt regions, France. Yeah, only it's less than 50% corruption now. So if you have a look at France, it borders one, two, three, four other provinces. There's some that, like, for example, Burgundy... Um, uh, borders more. East Aquitaine borders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight provinces. So that could potentially have zero percent corruption. So let's have a look at East Aquitaine. Look at all the money. There's only 25 percent corruption here. We should be investing into this province here, but we don't have any money. So up upgrading everything to well, everything's already upgraded to maximum. So looking at that. It is by far our richest region. Too bad we can't put an edict in there to increase tax rate further. Okay, moving on. We've got a really nice amount of income coming through now. No, 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 no. He doesn't need that. What about Alemania? Are we finally able to tax it? Yes, we can finally tax this piece of shit. And, oh, no we can't because of loss of food. If we manage to build a few more farms in other provinces... Actually, I'll tell you what we should do. We should just knock down a level. That'll get us the food we need. So, for example, Chur, we probably don't need this. So, knock it down. And that'll give us the food that we need. So that we don't, like, totally tank out the public order. But I need to build the, uh, the thing in here next turn. Alright, let's move on. Oh, damn it. This is the problem with military allies. They drag you in all the time. We had a reasonable trade agreement with them, you, you dipshit. People wonder why I never liberate. This is nothing but a case for keeping people subjugated. And now we've gone to war with these fuckers. Luck they had the initiative on me. They could have made an attack, but luckily they didn't. Now we've consolidated those provinces over there, so we can send those two armies out to go and deal with them. I may have to recruit another army, because you need three in order to secure a province. So like I said, this has gone from public order. Yep, it's under control. We need to build that. We can rebuild that at a later date, once we've got a bit more food under control. Okay, despite the fact they had the initiative, they didn't take the initiative to get the fuck out of there. And for that you're going to die. Our income only went up though, probably just because even though we lost the trade agreements, we are making so much money each turn for every every one of these buildings that we're building. At once. All right, I think that's a good place to end the episode here. So yeah, priority now is to get rid of Tali uh, get rid of the Taifa of Valencia. Oh, they're the ones that declared war on us, not not the uh, Caliphate of Cordoba. Yeah, we're still trading with them. 
And the Kingdom of Asturias, we might as well cancel the military alliance with them, because they seem to be winning. That's desolate. Anyway, that's the end of this one, so like and subscribe, part 9 is next. Don't forget to visit me on Facebook, and also check out my secondary channel where I've got a Crusader Kings 2 sister campaign, also playing as the French, um, where it started off as the, the uh, Charlemagne. Anyway, see you next time, fuckers.